In this video, we're reviewing the original White Label from Bushmills. The only whiskey is Irish whiskey. Ah. White Label often finds itself in a mixed drink. One old Bushmill Irish decaf hold the sugar. I enjoy it with soda, and it makes for a good Manhattan. But like anything, if you want to have a bartender pull it down from a shelf, it needs to have strong branding. A couple of years ago, Diageo sold it to Casa Cuervo, which you probably know is a tequila company. And I don't think it's very difficult to imagine what it was like when they were redesigning the label. What are the important messages for your brand? Well, it's really important to us to say we were founded in 1608. 1608, good starting point. Let's write that down. Good. So why is 1608 important? Well, for us, being founded in 1608 is it's a sign of quality. Quality is really important to us. At Bush Mills, we're all about the quality. I'm hearing quality is important to you. Let's write that on the board. Is there anything else that matters to your brand? What about being from Ireland? Oh yeah, say we're from Ireland is important as well. All right, let's get that on the board. We're onto something. Ireland's oldest whiskey distillery, founded in 1608. It's an Irish whiskey. It has award-winning flavor and quality of genuine quality, trademarked by the way. It's the finest blend, which I think is a sign of quality. Irish whiskey. And it's a product of Ireland. If we turn the bottle around, it was made in 1608. It's Irish whiskey. If we turn the bottle around again, it's still made in 1608. And it's still Irish whiskey. Bush Mills is an Irish whiskey. It was founded in 1608, and it is of the highest quality. Nailed it. Uh, I just noticed I missed one. It also says 1608 here. Like any Irish whiskey, um, I was about to say Jameson. Yeah, brilliant. You've got the word 1608 <laughs> Irish quality, but the brand name isn't coming across strongly enough. Yeah, yeah it, does, it does have the brand name one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times. Like any Irish whiskey, Bush Mills is triple distilled. So that means it goes through three distillation processes. And typically, Irish whiskey and Bush Mills is a lot lighter. Now, Bush Mills is a very inexpensive whiskey, so we can expect that a lot of this color is artificial. That's not bad, it's just we won't spend a lot of time talking about the color. It's light, gold, straw, but it's fake. On the nose, it's peaches mixed with tar, which is better than it sounds, and it smells nicer than I expected. It's got some sweetness on the palate. The alcohol is not particularly well integrated, so it's, it's quite warming, and it's very, very light-bodied. There's almost no mouthfeel at all. It's, it's not bad. It's just you get this kind of the sweetness, and it changes into kind of a hot, peppery heat. It's not very complex. It's easy to drink. It's very light. And that lightness is very typical of Irish whiskeys. In addition to the single malt, it also has a lot of grain whiskey. And that grain whiskey has gone through what's called a column still, which is a big, long, continuous column that makes it a lot cheaper to distill. And that's one of the reasons that Bush Mills can bring the price point down so low on this whiskey. It's not unpleasant, it's just not particularly challenging. The finish is surprisingly peppery and medium lasting. It's not bad. Let us know what you think of Bush Mills by voting with the link right here. We'll be really interested to see what you think. For me, 
There's nothing wrong with Bush Mills. It isn't as faulty as you might find with other whiskeys at this price point, but it's not spectacular. It's one noted, simple, Bushmills It's not something I would typically go for. Mix in a cocktail, it's something that's great and I really enjoy, but it's not something I'd sit and drink by itself. Even just a little bit of ice makes it a bit nicer. For more whiskey reviews, subscribe to our channel. We post a new video every week. And let us know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe. <laughs> you're too sober. That was a terrible idea.